What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic video. This one I've been excited about ever since it was brought to me as a proposition. One of my good friends, Sassy Auto on eBay, messaged me the other day on Instagram and he was like, dude, got some McDonald's packs. Do you want to buy some and open them on video? And I was like, <laughs> yes, definitely. Because if you guys don't know, Millennium Shield is one of my favorite cards because back in the day I went to McDonald's a little kid pulled Millennium Shield out of McDonald's pack. I'm not totally sure because my memory is horrible, but I'm pretty sure that was my first Yu-Gi-Oh pack, and that's when I got Millennium Shield. That's what started everything you see here. So that's pretty cool. I've never been able to open many McDonald's packs since because they've been tough to find. But he picked up a massive amount of them. He's got them listed on eBay. He said, "If I sell you these at the same price I got them at, will you post them or share it on your video, my eBay listing?" So here's his eBay listing. Check it out. It's going to be somewhere on the screen, I'm guessing up here. And I think he's doing 20 bucks per pack, So, which is actually not bad because these are actually really tough to find. There's only two cards per pack, but really cool. And you're like, wait, you're telling me this is a booster pack? It looks like Pop-Tarts. No, this is a McDonald's pack, I'm telling you. We'll open it up. You can see right here, you know, Kazuki Takahashi. They don't put that on the cards anymore, which is pretty cool. Kind of weird, actually. But uh, yeah, so these are McDonald's packs. They look like little, like you're about to eat a Pop-Tart, but really they're not. So we're about to open 50 McDonald's packs. You guys can go buy some. If you go find Sassy Auto on eBay, you've probably seen him before. Crazy huge eBay or he sells all kind of stuff. Very trustworthy. So check him out over there if you guys want to buy some McDonald's packs. And the giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away these three cards. Scapegoat, that's SDJ. MRD Karibo Original. And an Ultimate Rare First Edition Necklace of Command. So... M. Cole 40 meme card there. There you go. Epic giveaway. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments. Do you have any memories about McDonald's pack from 2002? Maybe McDonald's pack, the GX version. That's McDonald's pack 2. Let me know if you guys have memories about that. I want to read about them. I think it'll be interesting. Also, I want to show you guys, since this is McDonald's pack, I know we're taking a little long in the intro here, but I have graded every, well, I didn't grade all of them. I graded four out of five, I think. No, three out of five. I've got the entire super rare graded set. So in this video, all we're doing, we're searching for this guy. We're trying to get that Millennium Shield, guys. I'm extremely excited. McDonald's pack. I've not opened one. Okay, opened one in the every pack uh, 10K special, but it was one of the ones that didn't come on camera. So I haven't actually opened one on camera since then. So I'm extremely excited. Thanks again, Sassy Auto, for selling me these at a fairly cheap rate. You know, cheap what he got. So, I mean, they're not cheap anymore. These packs just aren't. So... Let's go. Here we go. Five, not five, 50 of these packs. There's two cards per pack, guys. I'm not sure if the foil will come first or second. As I said, it's been since 2002, really, since I've opened one. I opened one other one, so I didn't get a foil, by the way. So here we go. Three-legged zombie. We're definitely going to get the whole set, I would think. If we, I mean, frog the jam. We might not get all the hollows, but we're going to get all the commons. This card is actually, I think, worth a little bit. All right, so Frog the Jam is like a $6 card, which is actually a lot. And Three-Legged Zombie, um, it's worth like $1.50. So I think the best one is the Flying Penguin. There's actually some kind of expensive commons in here. And you usually don't find these this nice. Usually if you find the pack, it's all beat up. And when you open it up, the cards are destroyed. But out of the first pack, those look pretty clean. So he might actually have some really nice packs if you're looking to open them, open them up. Okay, here we go. Fairy's Gift. Okay, that's a classic McDonald's. Oh, Stuffed Animal. This was also in TP2. I think it came out here, then was reprinted in TP2. No, no, it must have been reprinted here, because I think TP2 is all originals. Okay. I don't know if, I don't know how many of these are reprints, but uh, alright, so far no foils. This has only been a couple packs, though. Three-Legged Zombie, that's a good one. And Frog the Jam, okay. I might actually try and send in a couple of these. See, you got a little line back there, because it's been in that pack with the the thing on the back, let's see, it's been, you know, have this on the back the whole time. I might try to send in, if I get some PSA 10 worthy commons, because I do have the five hollows, but I don't have any of the commons graded. So maybe I'll do that. Okay. Euronzo. Dark Piercing Light, our first foil. Oh, wow, that is super clean. Oh, wow, guys, the quality of these is really nice. I was not expecting this because they're in those little Pop-Tart packs. Only a couple of cards. That looks like maybe a PSA 10. We're definitely going to submit that. I already have one, but I did grade my Dark Piercing Light, I believe. 
So that'd be cool to get grade another one. Just a just a finger. I mean, it's just cool artwork. I think. I mean, it's pretty really simple, but really cool. So one foil down. That's sweet. I'm 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 way too excited about this, guys. I know it's just McDonald's pack. They're just two cards per pack, but this is like this is nostalgia at its finest. Like if we're gonna talk about nostalgia and Yu-Gi-Oh, it's McDonald's pack one. Like is it not? Back in the day, as you know, I think I was I was seven in 2002. So I first of all obviously loved McDonald's. I mean, who didn't love chicken nuggets in a play place? I mean, if you didn't, I'm not sure what to say. Then they give you Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So it's like that was like the best thing ever when that happened. So I was so excited. Flying penguin. There's the big one. The flying penguin. I think it's like eight or nine dollars, which is really good, you know, for a common. Man, the quality of these cards is great. Okay, I'm gonna go and sit back and sleeve all these after the video. Woo! Yeah, this is like. This is probably just one of the coolest videos I will ever get to do. Open McDonald's pack. I'm real. Like I was so excited when he said he was gonna sell me some. Okay, Turtle Bird. Takramino. So we got another super rare. Man, the super rares are nice. Did I see some edgeware over there? These look like they, these look like they literally just printed them. Okay, there's a little bit of whitening down there. But man, talk about good quality on super rares that have been in a two-card pack for this long. Like you don't see this very often. Woo, this is fun. This is a lot of fun, guys. Yeah, I'm interested to see um what you what kind of memories you guys have about McDonald's pack one as well. Because oh, flying penguin. I know that uh, a lot of people had it. Yes, yes, yes. If I haven't mentioned, I think I already mentioned it earlier. This is probably my favorite card because of what happened when I pulled it. Oh my, we didn't check out the back. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, there is the line back there. So this one might not be a PSA 10. This might be a binder copy. I do have a PSA 10 already. So like, this is binder copy for Ruxin. But as it is one of my favorite cards... I'm extremely excited about that. That's so cool. We got a Millennium Shield. Now we, we've pulled all the foils except for Cosmo Queen and Goddess of Wind. Is that the other one? Yeah, Goddess of Wind. Okay. Okay, here we go. Can we pull another foil? Flying Penguin again. Flying Penguin. Yoranzo. I really should keep... Maybe I'll keep one of these sealed. I think I'm going to keep one of these sealed just in case we ever do another every pack opening. I probably should keep one sealed so I don't have to find one because they are not easy to find. And by the way, he's selling them right now on eBay, but when they sell out, you're not going to see these for a while. So I'm I'm thinking that you should probably go pick one up if you want one for your collection. I mean, 20 bucks, it's like 20 bucks for a two, you know, a two card pack. That is not bad. I think I paid 40 for the one I got for the uh, every pack opening because he wasn't selling them for 20 at that point. Nobody was selling them. So I had to pay 40. So if you want to grab one now, I think that's the best time. Yep. Oh, Yamadron. We hadn't pulled this yet. This was... I definitely got this either when I got the Millennium Shield or another time I went to McDonald's because I remember thinking that this was one of the coolest looking cards. Three-headed. I mean, that's just pretty sweet. I mean, it just looks awesome. Yamadron. You gotta love that. How can you not love that? Okay, I just sleeved it up by accident, but, you know, I'm gonna end up sleeping them all anyway, so I'll just put that over there. Whew, okay, we're nine minutes in, guys. We still have a lot of packs open. I, I just want to be really careful with these because they do come in these little packs. And they are really nice cards. A lot of people like the McDonald's cards. And you see why they're awesome. Fairy's Gift. Stuffed Animal. That Cosmo Queen is being a little bit stingy on us, huh? Doesn't want to show up. Doesn't want to come give us the fire. I would take, I would take like five Millennium Shields over the Cosmo Queen, to be honest, so... I think they're around the same price. Cosmo Queen, actually no, Millennium Shield is a little more expensive. Maybe because it's the first one in the set. All right, Megasonic Eye. We got another one. Okay, oh, dinged at the top. There it is, we got a little ding at the top. That's okay though, another binder copy. Depends on how many I pull. I'll probably keep all of them, unless we pull like seven for some reason. Woo, Millennium Shield. Oh, man. We, the first double. My favorite card. Millennium Shield. There are a couple cards. That used to be my outright favorite card. There are a couple cards that have, like, tied it, I'd say. So I have a few favorite cards now. Morphing Jar is definitely one of my favorites now. After getting that PSA 10 and pulling that TP4. Make sure you guys check out that video. That was awesome. Fairy's Gift. And Stuffed Animal. Yeah, so I've had a few, you know, that I really like. 
because just based on my experiences, Genzo is one of my favorites. We've had such good luck with that card. It's an epic card. I've had good luck with grading it and pulling it. Well, not necessarily the Beckett luck, but we did have good luck with PSA. All right, Ushioni. Mega Sonic Eye, sweet. I mean, just the quality on these cards is incredible. Wow, there's so many left. Oh my goodness. Maybe if we maybe if we end up pulling like the whole set, I'll stop with a few packs left just so I can keep a couple sealed. We'll see. If we haven't pulled if we haven't pulled everything though, we'll probably keep going. Alright, stuffed animal. Man, McDonald's pack. I'm telling you guys. That is that's what you want to see. This is an epic, epic set. Alright, Yamadron. Fairy's gift. We still have not hit uh, Goddess of Whim or the Cosmo. But I think we will. We have a lot of packs left. It's possible we just get a bunch of dupes. I mean, the card, my favorite card is obviously Millennium Shield. So, Tacrominos is another dupe. Oh, this one's got... Wait, maybe? No, maybe... Wait, is that a little bend right there? You guys see that? Might be a little bent. It might just be the line down the middle. Yeah. That's just what happens sometimes when you have a very small amount of cards in a very small pack, you know? Just imprints on it because it's been there a long time, so... It's not a big deal. Still a really nice card. I mean, it looks really good. That's a tough one to, you know, to classify. You're like, well, looks near mint, but it has that line right down the middle. So, Fairy's Gift. Oh, there it is. Goddess of Whim. Our first one. This one looks a little bent. Or, yeah, it's the same line. Yeah, you guys see that right down the middle. Oh, wow. This one is not good. That one really got the line. That's okay, though. That is okay. As I said, I don't really need to grade any of these, so it's not going to bother me. But most of the cards have looked a lot better than I was expecting, because usually McDonald's packs, they don't look too great. Okay. Yamadron. Dark Piercing Light. Again, we got another super rare. That one looks nice. We might have a little, yeah, a little line there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Faint line. Pretty sweet dark piercing light. We're still looking for the Cosmo Queen. We haven't pulled that yet. We have not pulled Cosmo. I don't know what the ratios for McDonald's pack is. Is it still like 1 in 6, 1 in 12? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Megasonic Eye. Incredible. Wow. This is just... This is awesome. Make sure you guys... Check out that eBay link if you guys want to pick one up because this is awesome. Oh, a play set of shields before we get a Cosmo. Wow, okay, this one's pretty nice. There's a tiny, tiny scuff right there. Maybe a little scratch. Okay, that one's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I remember I bought like 10 of these trying to grade one. I finally graded one. It was like, yeah, it was like... One of the biggest chases I've ever had to grade a card. I bought so many of them. And I would like, I would buy them and they'd be light play or they'd be just near mint. Tacromino, sweet. Like I was chasing that card for like, I guess it was like a year or so. Around a year. Wow, those back-to-back -back foils too. That was nice. Fairy's Gift. Stuffed animal. The Cosmo Queen is hiding in here. Okay, we've almost opened. I'm guessing this has been 25. Wow, we might not need, need to open too many more, honestly. We've opened every every card. I think once we hit every card, I think we hit Cosmo Queen, we can quit. Megasonic Eye, because it would be nice to keep some of these sealed. So, as I said, they're not cheap, and they're not, uh, not easy to find. Okay, come on. Let's go for the Cosmo Queen. That's that's our goal. We're going to hit the Cosmo Queen. We've hit a play set. Of, we haven't hit Frog the Jam in a while. What is this? Four shields? What is going on? I mean, as I said, I'd rather take five shields than Cosmo Queen. And guess what? It might happen. This might be the best one yet. Four Millennium Shields. The favorite card. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think I picked the right side to start on with four of them. That's the most of any foil. We've pulled the Ultra four times. That's crazy. Yamadron. Fairy's Gift. And the Millennium Shield isn't actually more common. I've, I've seen a couple of videos of people opening these a while ago. You know, it's been a while since people have been opening these. 
but I, they were pulling Cosmos somewhere even, and then some had Cosmo more. So I think it's just, I think it's just even. Yamadron. It just depends on what kind of bat you get. Where's the Cosmo Queen? Can we pull it? Can we pull every card in McDonald's pack? That would be pretty fun. Yamadron. Fairy's Gift. We've got a bunch of Yamadrons and Fairy's Gifts now. Oh, we got a double. Yeah, this, this video could end at any moment if we pull the Cosmo Queen. Let's see if we can do it. Yamadron. Fairy's Gift, the same pack. Basically. Ooh, the Pop Tarts, here we go. Flying Ping, one nice, I haven't seen that in a while. Oops. Yoranzo. Oops. Yeah, these are starting to stick together. Ooh, McDonald's pack one. Oh my I can't believe we're opening this. I was wondering if I would ever get to open these when I was looking at when I was looking for the 10k special, I was like, I don't think I'm ever gonna get to open like a mass quantity of these. Because I can't even find one of them. Here we go. Fairy's Gift and Stuffed Animal. We are pulling a lot of the same commons now. Where is the Cosmo? We might not get a Cosmo. Yoranzo and Turtlebird. That's a real. That's a possibility, guys. That is a possibility that we could not pull one. That would be pretty crazy out of 50 packs, but it is possible. Turtlebird. Yamadron again. I mean, I like that card, so I can't complain. There's only 15 cards in this set, I think. So we are, I mean, that makes sense. We're getting so many, so many reprints. Three-Legged Zombie, Frog the Jam himself. I mean, that guy just looks like snot. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, we, went, we went upside down on that one, whoops. Maybe that's the luck. We needed to switch it up and go Cosmo. Three-Legged Zombie, Frog the Jam again. I'll take a lot of Frog the Jams. That's a nice one. All these have flipped over. That's why. We are on a dry streak. We hit Millennium Shield. And now we are a little bit behind. Okay. Come on. Let's get that Cosmo here. Here we go. Fairy's Gift. Stuffed Animal. Pop-Tarts. Give us... The chocolate chip pop tart that we won. The Cosmo Queen. 2002. 18 year old McDonald's Yu Gi Oh! packs. Flying Penguin, that's a nice one. It's kind of funny. 18 year old Yu Gi Oh! packs. From McDonald's. Back when they had lit. Um, what, what were they called? You know, the, the toys they give away. Yamadron, we are on a really cold streak. We haven't hit one out of this pile, have we? Maybe this was the light pile. I opened all the heavy, heavy packs out of the left, or the right pile. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Megasonic Eye. Wow, we're getting down to it. Can we pull Cosmo so I don't have to open every single pack? Here we go. Flying Penguin. You guys remember, whenever I try not to open every single pack, it usually turns into opening every single pack so just how it goes here on ruxin 34 channel oh i forgot to mention guys we're literally like 50 subs away turtle bird yamadron from 20k when i'm recording this so if you guys subscribe then we're gonna be at 20k tomorrow and that means you guys are gonna see the video and i recorded it and no spoilers if you watch 19 minutes in the video you get the this props right here it's really good just gonna let you guys know the video is really good it was worth it. The, the 20k is going to be hype, guys. And we're going to premiere it so we can watch it together. It's going to be cool. Like we did with Legacy Week. Alright, three-legged zombie. Tacrominos, we hit a foil. We hit a foil. It's not a Cosmo, but we hit a foil. Tacrominos. We went on a seriously, like, that was like 12 straight packs without a foil. Alright, we're just trying to find the Cosmo here. Okay, Ushioni. Megasonic Eye. Okay, what do we have left? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We're going to open two more of these, I think. No, we'll try and keep three. We're going to try and keep three. All right, we're going to try and keep those. Hopefully, we will pull a Cosmo Queen before then. If not, we're going to have to possibly open all. Maybe we'll keep one. I don't know. Three-legged zombie. Sweet. All right, all right. Cosmo. Can you show up? I can't believe this. Four, a hey, four Millennium Shields. That's pretty cool, though. 
Ushioni. <laughs> I said, guys, guys, is this weird? I said I'd take five Millennium Shields over Cosmo Queen. Look what we got. Five Millennium Shields, no Cosmo Queen. That is super weird. That is super weird. I will, but as I said, I mean, I wasn't lying. I'm okay with that. It is pretty weird, though, that I said that. That's kind of actually crazy that that happened. Well, we'll see if we pull in these next couple packs. Here we go. Three-legged zombie. Oops. Frog the jam. One more pack. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, I'm a draw. Fairy's gift. Woo! Okay, okay. Do we open these or do we leave them? Do we leave them? I mean, we have a Cosmo Queen. We don't need to open them. I think we probably keep these sealed. That's that's my that's what I'm gonna go with. It's kind of funny that we went five five nothing. Okay, let's go with what we got, guys. I think we're gonna keep those sealed for possibly future videos. We'll, we'll keep those from 47 packs. So we have three sealed. Goddess of Wind. We got one of those. We got two Dark Piercing Lights. So not too many. We got four Tacramino. So that's kind of a lot. <laughs> and then we got. Five Millennium Shields. Five Shields, no Cosmo Queens. Which is fine with me, to be honest, but that's pretty weird. So we got well, one every 10 packs, we got a shield, but we didn't get any Cosmo Queens, which is crazy. I'm still really happy with it. We're going to keep these three sealed for potential other videos where I will need a pack of McDonald's packs. We're going to keep those sealed. They could have the Cosmo in them. Don't forget, if you guys want to buy a McDonald's pack, check out that eBay listing by Sassy Auto. It's like 20 bucks for one pack. If you guys want to pick one up, have, he probably has some Cosmo Queens in there, I'm guessing, because we just pulled five Millennium Shields, but we didn't pull any Cosmos. So there's a high chance of pulling a Cosmo Queen. Hope you guys did enjoy this epic 2002 McDonald's pack video. This was one of the most fun videos I've ever done because I've always wanted to open a bunch of these packs. And I got to do it thanks to Sassy Auto. So make sure you guys go buy a pack over there if you guys are interested. If you want to support me, click my TCG player and eBay affiliate links below in the description. Click them, buy whatever you want, and it supports me. So I appreciate it, guys. Also hit the subscribe button. Tomorrow is probably going to be the 20K special. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs>